What's up, YouTube? So as you can see, things are a little bit different around here. I think this is the first video that I will be posting in my new setup. Well, it's the same studio, but I decided to change things up a bit. I wasn't too happy with the amount of work that Sonoworks was doing, so I built some DIY acoustic stuff. But yeah, I've got another video talking about all the updates to the studio and everything like that. And it's probably going to be posted before this one. Anyway, without blabbering on too much, today I want to chat about creating custom filters in Phaseplant. So I have actually spoken about something pretty similar in a previous video, but a recent question on one of my videos, somebody asking, can you draw freehand filters in Phaseplant, got me thinking um, that I didn't quite outline the ideas that I wanted to in that previous video. So yeah, this is hopefully a touch up on that video and a couple of other features that have since been introduced that make this a little bit easier. Let's dive in and have a look. So I've already got um, a track and a MIDI uh, thing prepped for this. Uh, you guys can copy this if you do want to get the exact same sound. And in today's video, I kind of want to outline the capabilities of, uh, you know, the more sound design capabilities within the EQs that Killer Hearts um, have made. So what I want to do is I just want to set up a quick kind of, uh, let's just go with like an FM patch. So let's create uh, two analogs. Let's just tune the entire patch down and then we can tune this harmonics up one. And then let's use this one to phase mod the first one. And we can maybe just go with another one uh, just to give it a little bit more harmonics. So the idea here is I just want to create like a really harmonically rich sound and then we're going to use, uh, we're going to create filters to turn that into a more appealing uh, leady type sound. So I want to give it some glide. So the cool thing that uh, Killer Hearts have added to the Slice EQ is this offset parameter. So this is essentially like a filter cutoff, I guess you could say. Um, I just want to just show you quickly uh, what I mean. So let's just create a kind of low pass shape like this. And then when we play the sound and we use this offset, you'll see it gives us kind of like a low pass filter kind of shape. Check this out. Uh, just so I don't have to sit turning that knob, I'm going to put a LFO over here. And I also just want to put a little bit of delay. So let's just slap that over here. Ping pong, the pan on 100%. And I want to show you guys a little trick. Let's put this mix on 100%, turn this mix down. And then we can put a filter after this. Let's put like a band pass, a bit of a low Q. We can actually turn up the gain of this a little bit, change the mix. So essentially what we're doing is we're filtering the tail of the delay sound. I've explained this in the previous video about processing effects and stuff in the Killer Hearts stuff, but um, this is just a quick idea. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, so that's simple. Uh, you know, low pass filters with some resonance, and you've got now the ability to change that using this offset. So another neat little trick. Let me actually just turn off this modulation quick so I can see what's going on here. Um, the easiest way to do this would be let's set up a macro to sidechain this and then yeah we can just use this to turn it up or down so this is going to be lfo on and so now we can jump in here uh let's do some interesting stuff like create um you know something but more unique like maybe more of a comb filter looking thing so if you uh, mouse wheel you can change the q factor of your EQ nodes. So we can create something like weird like this. So let's listen to what this sounds like. So the really cool thing here is we can save this and let's just create a subfolder and we can call this filters and let's just call this formanty thing. So cool thing here is we've saved this as a preset so we can, you know, while we're sound designing something else, uh, I actually just want to save this complete preset uh, for my Patreons. Let's just call it formanty thing custom filter one. Um, so let's just say uh, create a brand new sound. Uh, let's just go with like a croaky saw wave type of thing. Uh, pitch it down two octaves. Slap that slice EQ on there. And we can actually just load this preset uh, that we made moments ago. Uh, let me just put a LFO on here as well. Um, I actually want to put a bit of distortion in the chain here. So let's just go distortion. And I want to put a fatturator afterwards. And then we can just put a delay. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the processing of this one. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the trick earlier. Uh, turn this retrigger off, turn it down to really slow, and then we can slap this on the offset here. So the cool thing about this also is it's not exclusive for use inside Faceplant. You can load the stuff inside a snap heap or just use the EQ on its own. Although I do find loading it inside snap heap, you have the ability to, you know, apply all these LFOs and stuff to the modulation to create that movement. So it definitely helps with that. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick one for today, but let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. See you guys next time.